since you started off your career, uh, Chandra, and now, what are the key changes you see for a CEO when it was, uh, you know, a CEO at that time and a CEO now? What are the four or five key changes you see uh, before you in the Indian context? No, I, in think, uh, I think CEO's job is difficult. Let's be, whether it's a small company or a big company, CEO's job is difficult because um, the buck stops there. And uh, they get a lot of advice. Um, but they still have to take the call. So it is a difficult job to start with, but the only way uh, to be successful is surround yourself with people, have a good team, and have openness in your mind to be able to debate, to be able to um, empower people, those are things that are very, very important. Otherwise, I think there's no... I don't want to particularly say there are so many things you can say, like today the technology is moving fast, the geopolitics is, uh, is a much more complex world. I think the world has been complex always. Mm. So I, I don't agree that today it's more complex. So was world, world War II not complex? World War I not complex? 1850s, so many countries are fighting. So, world has always been complex, it's just not that, uh, but it's a connected world now, now uh, um, the cycle time is very short, uh, before you convey your decision, Twitter goes <laughs> bang, bang, bang. So there are different points in time, there are different challenges, but different advantages. How do you, how do you react to criticism, Chandra? Because you get a lot of advice, you said, a lot of it is critical. I think it's okay. No, I take it. Either uh, it's okay. It's like a filter. Yeah. You have to listen to everything and you know what is good you take, what is not good. Uh, you don't have to respond. So I don't think we need to have the urge, uh, urge to respond to everything. Hmm. So it's, 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 I remember uh, you told us uh, that uh, you know you had, when you uh, did the merger with uh, Tata Global Beverages and Tata Consumer Products, then somebody wrote to you. Yeah, somebody wrote to me. Hmm. What are you doing? <laughs> Come on, you shouldn't be doing this. It's a, it's a big mistake. And the same person wrote back to you. Same person wrote back to me a beautiful letter. Mm. Very nice of him. Mm. Very, very gracious of him. Wrote, wrote me a beautiful letter, uh, or a first time letter, this time message, that uh, how it has worked out so wonderfully. Mm. And that's been one of the key uh, transformative changes yeah. you have undertaken, yeah. whether it's at Tata. See, you, you have to listen to all the views, but finally you have to take the call. See, when you have conflicting views, you have to take a call. And their data matters, hunch matters. Mm -hmm. For me, hunch matters. Mm -hmm. I won't go, I will think 100 times we were going against data, but for me, hunch matters. So you, you do have, you know, depend on that. I uh, will, I will. That six tens, that yeah. hunch. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. In addition to data. Mm -hmm. Data, of course, but. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you, you get a feeling whether. Otherwise, you can't take big decisions. Was that also. People will tell you, why are you putting into airlines? They would have, exactly. Yeah, I was so about many to people will that. say, why are you getting into airlines? But I think, I really think that it is a, 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 there is a strong business case and there is a strong heritage for the group and also there is an India thing. India deserves Air India to be a world class airline. Mm. Uh, and it couldn't, it, it's the perfect timing as well because. Timing the is there, market is there and uh, why should people from here go somewhere else and sit in the lounge for six hours. There's no reason. And there is demand. So yeah, there are execution challenges, but we, we just have to move. We just have to make it happen. I mean, you've also, one of the key elements of your tenure, Chandra, has been s acquisitions as well, big and small. Biggest one, of course, one of the biggest Air India, and there will be others as well. Uh, would this be one of the guiding uh, things in your uh, thing, or it would be as is, uh, you know, a mix of both organic and un inorganic? So it will be both, actually. I mean, Tata Steel has done mm. uh, three, four acquisitions. Uh, we did Bhushan, we did Nilanchal, we did Usha Martin, we did quite a few. and. Um, we have done it in uh, consumer companies, we have done it in the digital companies. So I think we, we will do what is right. Where it is organic, we'll go organic. Where there is an opportunity for inorganic, we will, we will definitely lap it up. Even in our manufacturing semiconductor journey, we are looking at a few acquisitions. It will be a few uh, 
acquisitions that will that will be done it's required and and uh, overall investment pipeline is massive as well yeah. i mean your investment plan much of it will also go in the fab project across projects across projects. across projects mm. and and uh, you know overall uh, global what would be the sort of global and you said that india is predominantly india predominantly. i would say our investment for the next 5 years uh, 70% will be india 70% of the next 5 years investments will uh, be in our india. capital investments is 60 to 70% india and 30, this would be the total amount is about 150 billion no 90 billion Nin 90 billion yeah 90 billion uh, out of that 70% will be in yeah, india around 70 billion will be in india that's that's a significant amount